Good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of Your Transformation Journey podcast. Today, our guest is Jason Borman, and he is the co-founder of War Makers Coaching, and he helps struggling millennials or people who want to be entrepreneurs with finding their courage and building up their confidence and changing their mindset to achieve their goals in life and get back your war. Welcome, Jason, to the podcast. You were doing before and what you're doing now. That's like a transformation in itself. Like you, when you become a coach, you don't always get the right niche straight away and takes a bit of kind of tweaking and playing and, you know, finding where you fit in and in, in what your lane is going to be. What I was doing before was I was a mindset coach for mums because I'd had lots of experience working with children and working with mums, parent sort of relationship with them because I was an au pair. I worked at outdoor activity centre. I did lots of different things like that. So I felt I could really help mums, particularly with like with their daily to day challenges and things that they facing and using mindset and using NLP to kind of shift um, their perspective towards their day and making it even better for them. And I was really wanting to bring like connectivity back to the home and it was kind of like all of stuff like that. But through coaching and kind of practicing coaching and coaching different people, I found out that a lot of my testimonials say that I give um, people confidence. So I thought, hmm, confidence, maybe I could go down that route. And yeah, so like the symbol of the lion, you know, the bravery. And another coach actually coached me and said that when she see me, like a lot of people see bravery because of the things I've done and the amount I've traveled and things that I've done in my life uh, they just saw like a like a symbol of bravery and to me the, the the lion is that symbol of bravery so I've got that as my sort of people say when they see a lion now this to see me and that's like you know it's a great sort of um branding if you if you yeah if you want since that is the cornerstone of your development for the coaching program is bringing back that confidence, bringing back that roar. So let's talk a little bit about that. So how I do that would would be through like NLP and there's different techniques and stuff that can help you maintain as well as, you know, gain confidence. Like a big part of it is knowing where you are right now. I think, you know, a lot of people stuck struggling not knowing where to turn and what to do next because they have no idea where they are currently so the first couple of weeks of like a program or a course would definitely be focused on you know where are you now and build having that baseline that's you know clear you know of where you are and what next steps are for you you know to in order to build or grow that confidence. So how does NLP really play into building their confidence? Well, NLP is like, well, it's quite a broad, broad subject, but I think in itself, it gives you confidence because it creates so much clarity and um, there's techniques for like knowing where you want to go and you know, you can visualize and get there and see it now. And there's also like anchoring and things like that you can do with NLP that's massive for confidence and also maintaining confidence. So let's talk a little bit about the anchoring piece of it, because the anchoring piece, I think, is a actual huge piece of NLP. So explain to our listeners a little bit what anchoring is. So anchoring is basically a trigger point, basically. Or you can have spatial anchors. So 
a physical representation of a hoop on the floor to which you can like add things to it right based on what it is you want to maintain or grow and you can draw on past experiences you can you know model a mirror like other confident people if confidence is what you want to grow you can we all have a song that, you know when we when it comes on and we're at a party or whatever or out and we just get up and dance no matter how much alcohol we've consumed <laughs> so put that song in because it's a song that you know builds that confidence and we just want to kind of play have a play and just see what confidence means for each individual and it's so unique as well i think that's what we learn when we learn nlp is that everyone has a unique subjective experience of the world you know and when you tie in that experience and you start thinking about as if and a good author that i can think of that i can add to that piece of it is neville goddard if you haven't checked out Neville Goddard, check him out he wrote his books in the early 1900s but this man had a lot of insight and if, especially when you're using NLP, you're acting as if you're seeing your future as it is now. You don't have a future. You don't have a past. You have a present and you're present with that moment now. And when you're present with that moment now, you're able to rewire your brain. You're able to rewire your subconscious and you're able to say, okay, this is what my life is like now. You're forgetting all of the other stuff. Yeah. Well, that, that's where self-doubt comes in and things like that. Because life, right, when you're experiencing life, like, doubts can come in. But in NLP, in that moment, there is no doubt. Like, there's endless possibilities that you could come up with if we did a visualization on the future and where you might be five, ten years from now, you know. It might not be all that you are, or it might be, you know, but you'd definitely be, you know, aiming for a lot higher than, you know, life would have you experience because there's all that self-doubt, that self-sabotage, every all the stuff like that that comes in that, you know, would prevent you from achieving that. But there's something very special about seeing it first you know once you've seen something you can believe it to be true and like so nlp and visualizing the future and also you can gain knowledge you know like how did he how did he or she get that fantastic life that you're seeing like you can ask those questions and your subconscious knows the answer so and then you can bring back all that wisdom to the present day and it's just so good is my vehicle it's what i use to change my clients lives and do so successfully so yeah it's good so when you're doing this for confidence and putting that confidence up what is the one thing that you notice with your clients when you're using these techniques how fast do they seem to turn around from maybe the meow to the roar oh it's pretty quick really like you're talking minutes when they're in that state you know when we're taking them through the technique you know they go from a shadow of themselves to massive confidence because it's you know they're not in a lack mindset they're in a you know let's charge it'd be the best version of um, them that they could possibly be in You're talking about everything, yeah, especially the spatial ant anchor. That's probably the powerfulest one, right? That you can because it's, there's no limit, it's like a bottomless pit that you're gonna then step into, and you know, it all comes up and enters you all at once. And yeah, so you put in that, you know, your favorite song, you know, everything the memories of when you were confident, you know people you admire for their confidence and how they present themselves 
yeah, it's important to note as well, like, I'm not saying I'm totally confident in every area of my life because I'm still growing in that area as well. But it's, you know, it's on my radar now and I want to help make it a part of other people's radar. Many people think they, they're just stuck how they are. They can't change and they can't develop any confidence because it's just how they are. They've always been lacking in confidence in that area or they, yeah, I think, but you can transfer, you can bring energy from one like, side of your confidence to another, right? And it's, when you were talking about that, I was thinking about the fixed mindset. It was Carol DeWalk that actually coined those terms. You have the fixed mindset and the growth mindset. And the fixed mindset is, is I can't ever change. I'm always going to be this way. All of the things that you think you can't change. And then when you start growing in confidence, the growth mindset, then you're able to really start changing how you. Yeah. So yeah, you can change and yeah. It's time to start, you know, opening up that mind to a growth mindset instead of Because you can change in an instant. I've seen people change in seconds. Yeah. And it's, it's a huge thing. I think people have this perception that it takes forever to change things. And it really does not. We'll go down a little bit of a rabbit hole so to speak but there is this quantum the physics quantum theory and when you really start talking about that your thoughts are so fast or so instantaneous that you can change your life in a nanosecond literally and for a lot of people when you really start going down that rabbit hole and you start really looking at what you can actually do, you can change yourself rather quickly. So it does not take that long to change. And you brought that up when you're talking about your clients are changing in literally minutes. It doesn't take you days and weeks to change. No, absolutely not. No. But yeah, there's like this lady called Marissa Peer as well. She's rivaling NLP with rapid transformational therapy, like that's something that she does. And yeah, so it is, it's very quick that, you know, you can change the lives of, you know, people around you with MLP. And one of the reasons I use it as my tool of transformation, really, and because it is so, so powerful when you, you know, you're really invested in these, you know, these techniques and frameworks and um, different things that you can take yourself through and your clients through. Yeah, it really does. It's a game changer. Like, so let's talk a little bit about what NLP is. NLP is not. We don't presume anything. So I'm not going to sit and project my thoughts and feelings onto you as my client, for instance. Like. Yeah, it's all got to come from the client and I can't presume anything, you know, I might know the answer, but it'd be egotistical of me to think I know the answer because everyone's you've got that different perspective on life and how they see the world. And you could ask a hundred people and they'd all give you a different answer to the same question. So if they were in separate rooms and never heard each other answer the question and therefore couldn't get any sort of, you know, bits from anybody else, they would answer the question completely different. So it's like, yeah, we can't presume anything. We might think we know, but we don't know. So it's always better to ask that master question. I noticed this. What does that mean for you? What's, what's going on for you? Because, you know, that's one of the most powerful questions you can ask in NLP because 
it's all about the client and what they're going through and how they're seeing it transform and what it's now looking like. What senses they're picking up on. Is it the olfactory smell? Is it the gustatory taste? Is it the, you know, the visuals, you know, the auditory? Yeah, all of those sub, sort of sub modalities that you can play with will look differently to each each person. So I think a big part of it's not projecting whatever you want onto other people, other people, because it's so much more powerful and empowering if they come forth with that information for themselves without any they you know, leading in that way, like you're leading them with what you think. What is one good last nugget that you can give our listeners and our viewers? Um, last nugget. I'd get everyone to literally write a list of everything they've done in their life, everything that they've accomplished everything they're proud of because this is the stuff people do not pay attention to like i meet so many people who it comes out later like they've done these incredible things but they're not thinking about it and it's not they're not drawing on their past experiences to kind of give them all the confidence they're ever going to need um, Part of what I do is kind of helping people remember the stuff that they've done because they were happy about it when they did it and it filled them with so much pride and enjoyment. Like anyone who's become a mum, that's a big achievement. Like, you know, but they, so many mums forget that they've actually done something amazing like that. And, you know, they've been through the whole giving birth and raising a child. And yeah, it's like, they play it down almost like it's nothing. So I think a big part of it is just literally writing down, if you can, take five, ten minutes, write down as many things as you can about you know who you are, what you're proud of, and yeah, just really boost that self-esteem because we do forget things when we're not really actively focused on what it is we've done in our lives and how how much that can help our confidence, you know, going forward. Yeah. Definitely. But, and and you're right. We tend to forget some of the things that we have done and accomplished. And there was a quote this morning that I was thinking of, and it was basically based off of we think we have to start over, but you really don't have to because it's based upon your experiences that you have already had. And you can start from that for more. Absolutely. And that's going to give you a, a, so much more confidence in where you are right. And you haven't even had to do anything else. It's just remembering the stuff that you've done. Right. And really kind of bringing that back into your awareness and you know giving yourself a little pat on the back for like for that because it's it's all stuff that's made you the person that you are today and it needs remembering from time to time Definitely. you can find jason on facebook.com the war makers coaching and where else can they also find you so that's my personal profile, Jason Borman. Find me on there. Um, I've also got a group as well called the Courage and Confidence Hub with Jason and Adam. Because Adam's my business partner. Like, we're now going at this coaching journey aligned. So, yeah, good things are coming as well. We're about to launch a course and different things like that. So, Things are in the pipeline and ready to be released. So what's the name of your course and when are you going to release it? So I think January is the date. Or we don't have a date yet as such, but it's like January time we're sort of thinking. Because it's still being built and we're still early doors at the moment. But it's really exciting. And it's called the Courage and Confidence Accelerator. 
and it's going to be a 12 week course where we can help you like really regenerate your courage and confidence and take awesome. it, it sounds like that's going to be fun it's going to be all stuff like this that we talked about today bringing we just bringing you up a level with that confidence and where you think it is today to kind of where it sh you know should be or could be right yeah jason thank you for joining us today whether you know it or not whether you believe it or not you're unstoppable you are the beacon of hope and you are love everyone have a good one